he was until a couple of years ago, an imam at the mosque of Labour candidate to be mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. In a quarter of a mile, be in either of the two left lanes, then turn left after quick fit. He is so opposed to same-sex marriage that on LBC this week he accused Labour's Sadiq Khan of putting his political career before his faith by voting in favour of it three years ago. But the central charge against Mr Ghani by David Cameron and PM Hughes this week was that he supported Islamic State. That came off the back of the Tory candidate to be mayor, Zach Goldsmith, describing the father of six as one of the most repellent well, men in Britain. Belly. And the only problem is, is that there's no evidence that Mr Ghani has ever supported Islamic State. And even more embarrassingly for the Tories, Mr Ghani is on the record... Turn left at the traffic light. We pushed him back there. He's obviously coming here. Yeah. He's gone fucking round again to try and do it more times. Last May's general election. Now, so he's, he's told us that. Can we prove yes. it? I mean, do you have evidence of it? Uh, well, we're looking into that further. Look, he's going to um, do it again. But, uh, Zach's campaign. What, really what, what, is it, what is interesting, What's wrong with that, James, is that Zach's campaign initially claimed that Mr. Garney had only met Dan Watkins once. But I've established they've met on more than one occasion, and that until recently they were in contact uh, via text message. I put all of this, of course, to Zach Goldsmith when I caught up with him in Fulham this morning. I think Labour are trying to muddy He's the waters. They've been impatient. using pictures of myself uh, with, with Mr. But, but Dan, Flaming Dan Watkins, Watkins, that's the same as the, uh, the one we went to, the Watchman. With Suleiman Ghani, oh, he right. said that he's provided leaflets, providing volunteers to go out and leafleting for you. He's appeared on a platform with Jane Ellison. But, the, the, but politicians do go to events and people turn up at those events. I did a public meeting with Dan Watkins where one of those photographs has come from. I suspect that if Dan Watkins understood what this man represents... But he's, he's out he's campaigning for you and he's... he's He's been in regular contact with Solomon Garn. is a great campaigner. He is effectively and has been for years the proper MP for Tooting. People go to him with their issues because he's just so good. I hope he becomes the MP for Tooting at some point. Now, James, the central charge against Mr. Ghani was that he attended a meeting on the night of the Paris terror attacks last November. And it is alleged that at that meeting, speakers talked in support of Islamic State. Now, Mr. Ghani has told me there was a discussion about an Islamic State. But th this is where David Cameron on Wednesday stood up. He named this man. Yes, he named this man and said he was a supporter of Islamic State, leaving no doubt in most listeners' minds precisely what Islamic State he meant. Yes, but crucially, his spokesman clarified afterwards uh. on Wednesday that he was it was an Islamic State. And when I've spoken to uh, Don Martin, I just want to be clear on this. So he stood up in the House of Commons and said Suleiman Ghani is a supporter of Islamic State, from which we derive in the current news agenda. Do you right hand that master speaking? In half a mile, enter the roundabout. Yeah, 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 yeah